gonna be a first for me. I've never tried to do this, especially driving a motorcycle. Uh, this is the first time you've probably seen me interviewed. I've been on this road that fixed to go down right now. I've been on it uh, two or three times, and I'm just went down it again, decided to come back around the main road and shoot it for you because of the way the sign is. One of the most beautiful streets I've seen down here, one of the roads. We're right next to a main highway and right next to a beach, and this runs off of that main highway. And it's a bunch of well-kept uh, roads down here, some beautiful houses mixed with some very, very poor houses. So let me show you how this works, and what you see is what you get. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Uh, doing a handheld with a camera, running a motorcycle with the other, so it's going to be a little difficult. Bear with me. Be a little wiggly. Right, this is off the main road out here. This is just kind of a little side road that takes off. I like taking off and going down these little roads, venturing off into these little roads to see what lies down there. And this one here just happened to be a treasure trove of a good size. Look at that poor pooch there. This is very common in the Philippines. These poor dogs, they don't, they're not fed well and they don't have any veterinarian care. All right, we'll see if I can get this bike going and uh, we'll see what happens. I managed to get the camera in position. Let's just see how long I can hang on to it. Got a tricycle coming around me. This is really a beautiful street. See the, all these little sorry sorry stores. People sit out here and they have, they eat, have snacks and visit. Hello. Hello. For the most part, the people are pretty friendly. I did get into one little area, and uh, it's kind of a place where I didn't have any way to get out. And uh, they pulled a big rifle on me, a big, big high-powered gun on me. They didn't shoot it at me, they just let me know that this is their territory and I shouldn't be back here. It was really a runoff place, I shouldn't have been in there in the first place. The dead end road, which I didn't know. But at least I learned that's one road I'm not going to go on. Now look at this beautiful home sitting back in here. This is just gorgeous. Beautiful. And they've got this stadium going up here, this is actually probably a barangay hall. Huh? I hope this isn't uh, shaking too bad for YouTube. Now we're getting down in where they got a lot of heavy tree growth. And this is just really pretty. You know, in America, they pay millions of dollars to live on a road like this. Now off to my right is the ocean. They've got a couple of little beach beachside resorts here. Here's one here. I think. No, it's a sorry, sorry store that's closed. The Baptist Church is closed. But this is nice and cool. Here's the ocean over here, if I can hold it still enough. And their beaches here are black, black and dark gray sand, real heavy, coarse sand. Here's sorry, sorry store. series like this, the smell of, of dried fish cooking. Hello! Now I'm going to try to go down this gravel road one-handed and see what happens. Now down here on the right I'm going to show you a boat. They call it, they got long boats here. But this one's exceptionally skinny.
There's that skinny boat. No concrete here. But then we're going to get back out on concrete. This lady out here is doing like a lot of Filipino people do. Is they sweep out their driveways and they pile the leaves up and burn them. Hello. Hello. Beautiful palm trees or coconut trees. Hello. There's the ocean here and we're fixing to turn away and head back toward the main road. But this is the rural life around the water. We're just north of Gimbal, south of Otan. Hello, YouTube. Group of young men I need to try to get around. Hello. Okay. Got to turn it off here.